The patient is in supine position with the arm abducted to 90 degrees at the shoulder, the elbow flexed to 90 degrees, the forearm externally rotated with the hand dorsum lying on the table. Draw a line along the axillary artery slightly distal to the level of the pectoralis major. Once the skin has been sterilized and draped, subcutaneous infiltration of local anesthetic is performed. Insert the cannula just above the axillary artery. Progress the needle until sheath penetration, usually evidenced by a characteristic click and loss of resistance. Then advance the needle tip through the neurovascular compartment parallel to the artery without meeting resistance. Confirm the correct cannula position with the nerve stimulator. Move the needle in the sheath until elicited motor response. In this case, extension of the wrist and fingers caused by stimulation of the radial nerve. Or ulna flexion of the wrist and flexion of the fourth and fifth fingers due to ulna nerve stimulation. Find the optimum needle location while progressively lowering the current to the minimum needle intensity that still maintains motor response. In this case, 0.5 milliamps. Withdraw the stylet. After careful aspiration, inject a 3 to 5 milliliter test dose of local anesthetic in the neurovascular sheath. Then insert the catheter 4 to 5 centimeters.